the help of a popular celebrity who will be the face of this campaign and who is standing behind this campaign very staunchly. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest financial literacy advocate of Slam C, Sun Life Asset Management Company Incorporated. Please welcome actor and athlete, Mr. Mateo Medicelli. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Shangri-La. Come on, how are you? Come on, Deepa. Deepa. This is after the question and answer. First of all, thank you very much for coming to this afternoon. Thank you very much, Sun Life, for trusting me to be, to be the face of um, the Sun Life Asset Management. I'm 25 years old, and I guess um, I started my career very, very young. Uh, 16 years old. And... I'm very lucky I have people around me that I trust. You know, trust is one of the most important things. The minimum tiwala sa, especially to people, the people take care of your money and your investments, diba? I'd like to share a little story. When I was, when I wasn't even born yet, my dad, around 25 years ago, came to the Philippines from Italy, not even knowing where the Philippines was on the map. So he came down to the Philippines with his family, at hindi siya marunong mag, mag, uh, mag English, mag Tagalog, Cebuano, or whatever, you know. So he came all the way 30 years ago in Cebu. So when he was in Cebu, he said, what am I going to do? Um, I don't speak the language. I don't know anybody. So what he did, he took initiative. He, he went on a habal habal. You guys know what a habal habal is? Yes. You, for the people that don't know, you uh, you motor na five or six or eight people sit in one whole motorbike. So anyways, he got in the motorbike and he went all around Cebu looking for things to sell, looking for suppliers in Cebu. So what does the Philippines have? We have a lot of shells, we have a lot of uh, wood, a lot of coconut, all the stuff. Right? So he got all the stuff and he started supplying Italy the stuff. Right? So he, he started um, doing a little small business, which is 500 pesos in his pocket back then. So from there, he started his business all the way and he, 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 he made the business grow. And during the 90s, I think, our business was like the number one export business in the Philippines in the 90s, not anymore. So, you know. <laughs> so after that, um, you know, I was born and, you know, I had the most, the most supportive family ever. I started racing when I was 11 years old. And basically, I started earning my own money when I was 15 years old. And when I was 15, 16, I didn't really know what to do with my money. I was like, whoa, I'm earning, I have checks, whoa, what am I going to do? Um, usually what normal... Uh, people would do just you know spend to buy a cool car, buy cool clothes, buy more cars, buy sports cars. But you know my dad said, Mateo, do you really want that or do you need that? You know what I'm saying? So he always plays that man. Hang on, now you're 25 years old. You always ask me, do you want that or do you need that? So it was always I want that. I didn't really need it, right? So now he makes me look at things very realistically. Instead of having a sports car, I have a van. Instead of having something expensive, I have something not too expensive. But. So, yeah. so I was very proud and very blessed when Sun Life approached me to say, "But can you be the face of Sun Life Asset Management?" Um, I'm in the beginning of my career. I want to invest. I want to learn how to put my money in a safe way and how to make my money grow. So I said, "You know, this is timing. This is the most perfect thing I'm, I'm going to do right now in my career." So I'm very blessed to do this. And of course, Sun Life came out with Slam the Scam. Um, alam po natin, marami, marami mga scammers out there on Facebook, on social media, and a lot of people out are, are falling for this, di ba? Alam po natin, mga kababayans natin, mga OFWs natin, marami, marami na hulog dito sa mga scams natin. So, you know, this is one of the advocacies of, of Sun Life to protect our kababayans and our hard work kababayans. So what we did for you guys to make everything easier, um, I shot different episodes of videos that we're going to show you in a while. Um, we're going to be launching it on social media. So, sana po, kapag makita niyo sa social media, you can spread it out with your friends and everybody else. It's very, it's short, 15 second, uh, 15 second, uh, I think so. 15 second uh, video clips that we're going to be launching every so often online, give you different tips on what to do and what not to do when investing your money. So, and also, Slam Scam, we came out with a bright, brick or mortar, registered, uh, B R I I S, integrity, G. Grounded, H, honesty, and T for trustworthy. So this is the, these are the things that you have to look for when you start investing. So ladies and gentlemen, maraming maraming salamat po. Kain na po tayo, dahil alam po, gutom na tayo lahat. And of course, give some advice to the younger generation on how to balance it. Because uh, I think it's one of the main issues nowadays. 
like uh, meager salary. Young people are spending on like iPhones and expensive phones. But when do you think uh, you really deserve to to have something like a gadget that you deserve it because you work hard? It's like uh, maybe uh, what made you buy a Ducati compared to an ordinary bike? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, how do we start this? When I, when I was growing up, my, my dad always, when I, when I said, Pa, can we get this, can we get this? Mateo, you don't really need it, you know, you just, you just want to get it. You know, we, we, could, we could get something else in the future, we could invest in something else in the future, we could invest in things that would matter more in land and apartment rather than getting an expensive sports car right now, right? So, it's really up to you and it's, you have to be realistic with yourself on how much you earn and how much your lifestyle costs, right? Sometimes, um, we earn a certain amount and you're living a lifestyle pretending to go to clubs every night to go to expensive restaurants and just, just uh, uh, throwing away your money there. So you really have to be realistic, realistic on how much you earn and how much your, your income is and all that stuff. And then from there, you know, just defer what you need or what you want. It's really it's up to your personal choice. Right? But um, again, if you, if you go into a company like Sunlife, you have an advisor which is very, very important. And then he'll give you real, a realistic um, advice also on what to do. Right? So yeah, did I answer your question? So when do you balance your needs against your when do you balance your need against your, let's say, your passion? Ayun na. Kaya sa passion natin, marami tayo mga sponsors, di ba? Mga companies for supporting us. Di ba? No, but siyempre, you, you really have to put, uh, you really have to work hard for everything you want to get, di ba? You can't just be like, oh, I want this, boom. You have to build credibility in yourself also and have and build that respect that, you, 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 that everybody needs and deserves, di ba? You can't just go out there and say, hey, can you sponsor me a bike? Oh, why? What can you give? What can you do? Are you working hard for it to deserve this bike or deserve something? So you really have to build the respect, build the credibility, and, 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 and build that. And it's not going to take an overnight thing. It's, it's years or days. You know, it's gonna it's gonna take time. So thank you. Good answer. <laughs> thank you, sir. But I would just like to stress that, not overnight, right? all these people are dealing in, on Facebook as overnight na paglago ng pera ang gusto and I guess one reason they go to uh, they go to Facebook to chat pe with people they don't know is because they get overwhelmed or intimidated by big companies no Miss Rina and this is something that we're also trying to address which is why we're coming up with all these information campaign that it's not uh, it's not you shouldn't be afraid of going to a financial institution that with uh, solid credibility because Actually, like for example, in, in Slam C, it takes only 5,000 pesos to invest. Of course, this is long term because we, we wouldn't promise something that, you know, masyado hindi makatotohanan. It's really important that if you're investing, long term talaga siya. Yun. And yung kampanya na pinagkakatiwalaan mo, yun, sustainable, may track record. And this is why hopefully you also share it with all the other people. Huwag naman kayo magtiwala sa Facebook. Di ba, Attorney Lale? If I may add, uh... During, in one of uh, my lectures, somebody asked me why are our OFWs oftentimes become victims of these scams. And to ma'am, that we need financial literacy. People, when they say, when they say, go to mutual funds, no, they, they're negative. Because they thought it's for rich or it's hard to join or to invest in mutual funds. If I say, Go to stock exchange and buy stocks with more reason. They would think that it's difficult buying stocks in the Philippine stock exchange when it's so easy. Um, chef, uh, since 16 years old, I've been, try I've, been, I've been trying to save as much as I can, and you know, with the help of the family, you know, the support of the family, I have savings. And it's, you know, it's honestly malaki. Savings. Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, um, yeah, a little bit. I've invested in, in other in properties and I have a little business starting up. So I'm putting up a restaurant and uh, next year I have something planned um, here in Manila. I'm going to bring something in from Cebu. So, that's <laughs> Wait in a month, wait, but I'm not contented yet. Why, why, why? Siyempre, you want to have, you want to be very, very comfortable. You want to be comfortable, kumbaga, when you have family and you, you want to be ready, diba? So, that's what I'm getting ready for. 
Malang family life. Happy family that I give my wife what she wants. Who's your wife? Alam mo na yun. But do you think that you're bad? Uh, no, it's not. It's not pressure. It's just I think it's a smarter thing to do and the smart thing to do. Um, since the beginning, uh, you know, I've been I've been influenced to save money from the talaga from the start, with my, with, especially with the kind of family I have. <laughs> but now that I'm in the, the Sun Life family, I'm starting to learn more, especially from the press con kanina. I've learned a lot with with the uh, with the talks kanina and. Uh, it, it makes you want to be hands-on and it makes you want to be involved with the investments um, that you're going to partake in, right? So, um, after, this, after this meeting and everything, we're going to we'll be talking and investing in the, the mutual funds of some I have a serious question. Yes, sir. How about you talk about how to invest for your future? I mean, was that... We, have, we didn't talk about that. Okay. Um, but me personally, as, as an individual, okay. I have so many things I'd like to do for myself and I, I have so many dreams to do for myself. You know, um, yes, she's my girlfriend, whatever. But we're not married yet, so I wanna, I wanna make my, make my, kumbaga, make my stable strong, diba? and be prepared for those days. Pero alam mo yung mga drama talks na I want a big house, I want. Yeah. Yeah. Man, tayo lahat, ikaw naman din meron na. Hindi talaga nung mga ikayo, hindi talaga kung sa kanino mga ganong mga ganong small chat na ganon. Ah, wala pa naman, not, not specifically no. But me as a person. When the time comes, I want to be comfortable enough and I want to give what my family deserves and wants. So, today's the right time to start. Right? First, that you want a big house for your family. A decent house, a decent house, not too big. Right? I want to see them every day. Kapag siya mong laki, hindi naman tayo magkita, right? So, a decent, a decent house, a happy family, a happy, a happy environment to live in. So, that's why it's very important to start today at the young age of that. Naloko ka na ba sa pera? Naloko ka na ba? Naloko ba ako sa pera? Yeah. Not necessarily a scam, pero naloko ka Yes, na. for sure, of course, of course. You know, like, I, I, nothing, small things before when we were younger, the ba? Put money here, put money there, and you're never gonna see it again. Or like, entrusting somebody to hold this, hold that, and you're not gonna see it again. Um, because he justifies this and that and that. So, anybody can get fooled. Even the smartest person can get fooled. So, like what we're doing, Slam the Scam, is a very, very important yes, advocacy yeah. to the Filipino people to target the, like, the hard-working kababayans that are OFWs to, to be careful. You know, when, you go, when I do shows abroad, you see all these OFWs working so hard for their kamag-anaks dito sa Filipinas. So we want them to, to, to put their money in a safe place to make it go the right way and have a brighter future for the kids to work for. Were you ever approached? By uh, scammers and stuff? Well, you know what scammers are, yes. um, Yes, I've been approached uh, in the past, uh, little stuff, and not just me, but my family has been. Okay. My, I have a lot of friends in Cebu that has been approached and has been scammed. Mm -hmm. Uh, the people that really scam lost money, right? Oh. And what can you do when you lose the money? You can't do anything else anymore, but just, uh, you lost it. But the family, you Um, no. My dad's very strict in things like this. My dad is a person with so much principle that when you tell him, let's, example, let's buy a refrigerator. May warranty ba? May ganito ba? How many years has it been in the, in the, in the refrigerator business? So, like, in an in insurance and investment company, he always looks for things like that. Credibility. Um, has the company been there for for a while? Has it been has it been trusted? A lot of people investing in the company. Yeah, so my dad's one of the straightest people you're gonna meet. Are you pretty I like I like spending sometimes. And, uh, 